For those who are born with the good zodiac year 2023, you are the ultimate alliance partner that everyone wanted to work with you. Why? Because you have the most auspicious star in year 2023. Stay tuned to find out why. Before we get started, let us take a glimpse back into a year 2022 where the goods Zodiac have all these auspicious and inauspicious stars. So first of all is the Jit Hall. The Jit Hall basically is one of the auspicious stars boosting, uh, increasing the value of your investment or your asset, the things that you already own. It could, you know, in modern days, it could even um, denote your properties, your offices, the shop lot, all this physical asset, the value will increase. So having this will boost the increase of your value next is the monthly virtue monthly virtue is one of the ultimate problem dissolver stuff where it can actually help you to turn all this negative threatening fear everything into just piece of mist because you no longer care or no longer being threatened by all this negative force so it will help you to actually stay calm and steady able to understand and analyze the circumstances Next is the Sky Happiness Star. Well, the Sky Happiness Star denotes all these auspicious uh, happy events, celebrations. It could be promotions, it could be marriage, pregnancy. So these are the positive celebration star that boost your overall positive vibes, okay? Next is the National Treasure. Well, the National Treasure basically is one of the authority star where you are given some important role decision maker that require you to step up your game to be able to take lead or to be responsible for a certain department. So overall, all the auspicious star is boosting your personal growth and your career and also your wealth generation. And you are also affected by some of the negative star as shown in the chart here. So first of all is the pulling saddle. Well, the pulling saddle come with good and bad connotations. It depends how you activate it. It basically just like a turbo boost into your vehicle. You know, having clarity once you are on a very clear path, you just hit the north button and you just boosted all the way. If you have no clarity and you are turning a lot of corners, hitting this button in the wrong time will cause you a lot of unnecessary accidents. So make sure you have good clarity. Since last year, you already discovered how things are supposed to, supposed to work in your way. Then you shall launch yourself forward. Next is the death charm. Death charm basically means that there could be some uh, sad events or it could also means that you overwork yourself until you overly lethargic to a stage that you can't maintain your own health your your lack of focus and you can easily fall sick and this could even happen to people around you your family members your your, your wife your spouse you know so make sure you are aware and lastly is the lesser consumer well lesser consumer is just the um, shopping time because basically it means your expenses the expenditure just increase un un uncontrollably but having the lesser consumer the impact is lesser but still it's a good time for you to buy into new experience to enrich yourself maybe you need to going uh, attend certain costs to actually level up your own self okay so that's all for the year 2022 what about year 2023 because you are boosted with all these auspicious star. So, as you can see, there's actually a lot of auspicious stars supporting you. So, first of all, is the three stages. Well, the three stages brings a uh, rise or increase in terms of your reputations, your prestige, your your identity, your personal branding. So, for those who are actually building the name for themselves, this is the star that will highly auspicious to help you to stay ahead of the game. Okay. Next is the eight seats. Eight seats basically denotes that there are eight strong pillars to be supported in any important organization. So this is one of the most important supporting pillars. You are being selected to become one of the most crucial part in your organization. So if you're a business owner, so you have to position your, uh, see yourself in your industry. Are you positioning yourself into this important pillar in your industry? Okay. It also brings your uh, popularity, your fame, your credibility. People just acknowledge your ability to make certain uh, cru crucial decisions. So this will also indirectly give you the power and authority to make certain decisions, to share your experience and help to actually sharpen your work or improve your industry. So be willing to take on this important responsibility because why? 
you have this imperial charm imperial charm basically means you are given certain authority the ability to have your your word being heard you know the things that your experience how you can actually improve your industry or the things that you are uh, the way you're doing things you know basically this is one of the most powerful star to help you increase your level of becoming the authority in your industry or in your workspace okay and next is the sky relief star well having this is going to be one of the biggest game changer star because this star can turn the negative to positive so all this kind of energy will actually boost your ability to solve from as a matter of fact for those who are feeling downward spiral they're feeling like you know everything uh, all the circumstances are not siding you and you're feeling you're dropping hard well this star will help you to bounce back because this is what we call this is sort of like a, a rebouncing star to help you to bounce or flip the game okay so if you have any issue any problem any difficulties be willing to ask for help okay because help and support will be there next is the relief god well relief god basically means you are able to dissipate and solve problem effortlessly easily you know having this star will help you to actually aware of the problem and able to see the positive side on how to actually handle and solve this indirectly so overall those are the positive combo because you have the sky relief and also the relief god both will help you to actually solve most of the problem that you may have been already you know trying to sweep it under the carpet it's time for for you to bring it out and able to face it and solve it once and for all okay next is the elegant seal the elegant seal basically is the star of creativity star of uh, uh, in the old days is a uh, more positive boost towards those uh, craftsmen people who are using their hand to craft certain uh, unique items uh, beautifully designed kind of uh, uh, craft so for those who are doing creative content and also uh, critical thinkers problem solvers well this star will boost your creativity and innovative in terms of how you can actually uh, upgrade existence uh, solutions or the products you already selling or perhaps upgrading your services or whatever you are offering to in exchange for monetary wealth okay so this star will actually increase your uh, creativity ability to turn or create something unique but take note of this star because sometimes you may overly eccentric to a stage that you wanted to create something just because you feel you love it so well you must be able to match what uh, what we call the markets need the target audience whether your solutions or the things that you created does it fit into the market once you have to have the ability to connect them well this is the positive star to boost overall your creative solution ability and nevertheless you are also affected by some of these negative stars so first of all is the flying blade well flying blade basically means that you be taunted you are easily triggered into a fight people challenge you to a verbal uh, stand you know you have to protect yourself you have to speak up for yourself and worse it could actually cause you to be react hate hastily and it could actually cause you a involved in some fighting argument for unnecessarily so this star will actually good in terms of helping you to actually speak for yourself just don't be easily triggered into a fight and that will actually help you to express your idea sufficiently okay next is the year charm and flying charm so basically these two star actually uh, brings you a lot of legal issue uh, legislative uh, if you are doing some uh, tendering support uh, applying for certain tender or applications like pr you know these are just part of the the norm but if you are already very active in pursuing certain uh, goal you may neglect the important parts of complying to the authority so make sure you are aware because this will bring penalty summonses uh tax or penalties tickets or basically all this stuff could actually cause you to vomit amount of money just to pay to solve it so just be careful otherwise this could cause you unnecessary hindrances okay next is the black blood knife blood knife basically means uh, bleeding injury it means you are more clumsy you are easily uh injured yourself to a stage that you may get bleeding for but for those who already uh, having the health of uh, inflicted negatively means you may have certain illnesses or disease that you have been delaying in hope for uh, to get it sorted out well 
blood knife star could denote if you the doctor uh, proposed you to go through certain surgery well this is quite aligned and maybe having all the auspicious star will help you to actually get all your health issues sorted out and solve it once and for all okay and next is the yellow flag well yeah yellow flag basically it means that uh, you are bound to experience some sad events maybe someone who could be hospitalized and if worse it could mean someone around you or, or your family members pass away and this will actually brings you a lot of uncomfortable you are struck by all these sad events you have to attend and support uh, emotionally to other people so this is something that you have to pay more attention in terms of the health of your family members uh, the health of your loved ones make sure their family and everyone around you are well taken care of to reduce all this um, to lessen the impact okay next is the five goals well five goals basically you may be having a lot of suspicions because people people around you are gossiping around you there are gossip rumors mongers around you talking behind you and make you feel suspicious causing you self-doubt whether your credibility your ability to take on all this important role or important decision making on a more uh, logical sense so basically this just intensifies your sense of uh, insecurity self-doubt suspicious just be aware you just walk the talk be focused on delivering your value it will solve this issue and lastly instability when all this inauspicious stuff starts to strike you affect you direct or indirectly it will make you feel unstable and your mood your mood emotionally everything just fluctuate crazily so just be aware you know if you are not consciously solving all this issue all this negative stuff will indirectly activated because the negative star is easily activated compared to those auspicious star so in order to activate all this auspicious star all you need to do is just be willing to take on responsibility and be able to see the hidden lesson the advantage that lies behind solving all this problem then things will happen and unravel itself for you so overall those are the auspicious and inauspicious star here i have con uh, compiled all the positive boosts that is simplified for you to understand like ability to, to solve problem increase sm smoothen out the journey of your life partnership collaboration growth in terms of your network because the rabbit zodiac is also forming tree harmony with the good zodiac together with the pig zodiac okay this form the tree harmony well it also means that you may have strong connections to work with the high authority someone who is powerful or influential like the grand duke so having this opportunity of course you have to maximize your network okay next you are given important role because with all this increase in terms of your basically the influence of imperial charm it will give you this important decision making ability so make sure you have to up your game this year to be able to embrace and take on all this important decision making because you know with bigger role bigger pay right okay so overall these are the positive boosts creative spark time to innovate and craft your niche given authority power decision making as i mentioned so be able to embrace it because solution will be there as long as you are willing to take the lead to lead the team of your department or your organizations to make impact to transform how people work okay strong nobleman luck easily attract help and overall it's going to be smooth sailing journey this year for those who are born with the good zodiac so here are the compilations of the negative pullback factor these are some of the things that could slow you down your progress and especially if you don't aware it could actually cause you a lot of mood swing and all this negative emotional turmoil so first of all is the good gossip rumors backstabbers not backstabbers pulling you down legal summonses agreement applications issue litigations uh, tax court orders summonses penalties these are just some of the things that you have to be aware if you need to comply to any rules and regulations so make sure you get the paperwork done okay emotional instability which could cause accident and if worse it could cause you to have bleeding in injury you know as i mentioned the blood knife style so just be careful in terms of how you handle a car or handle in, um, slightly dangerous kind of uh, machinery work you know 
High risk of bleeding injuries easily uh, get hurt. Easily drawn to suspicious mistrust, jealousy, sadness, depression due to negative and sad events. So just pay attention to all this. Take it sort of like a reminder so that you are able to uh, plan your activities, your journey with a proper insights. So that's all for those who are born with the good zodiac. But nevertheless, in the system that I'm using, which is known as the part of the four pillar of destiny. So your zodiac, the good zodiac could appear in different uh, pillar of your, it could be in a year, month, day, or perhaps even hour of birth, which can bring different impact. Let's say you are born in the year of goat. Well, born in the year of goat, it means the year pillar governs the external part of your life. Okay. It also means that having all this uh, grand new combinations, the tree harmony, and all this positive stuff. It could mean that you can easily find problem solver. You can perhaps easily attract the right mentor, coach, or someone who can actually give you a lending hand to help you to solve certain problem. And there'll be a lot of creative solutions out there allow you to reach out. So make sure, be proactive, go out and be willing to ask for help. Hey, I have this issue. Anyone who can help me out, Come on, just let me know, you know, just directly contact you to help you to get the problem solved as well. Because after all, all the stuff that I mentioned, it appear in your network, in your peer, people around you, and it will indirectly influence you, your life, okay? Next is the month pillar. The month pillar govern your career, business, the things, or the activities yeah, that you do in generating your wealth. So having all these auspicious star, as I mentioned, it means that you could be promoted to bear on some important role in your organizations. You become the supporting pillar or the crucial pillar to support a grand vision of your organization or perhaps a grand vision of your business in your industry. So having all these auspicious boost will intensify your ability to build your personal branding, your credibility, your achievement, your uh, professional identity, so having all this stuff will also attract problem solvers. So this year, anything when they talk about your career, you just be willing to focus on solving the problem. Idea will come as long as you're willing to take on the lead and things will unravel itself for you. Okay. Next is the day pillar. Day pillar governs your personal relationship, your personal growth. Well, having the sky happiness start last year, it may already giving you the sign that you may already meet your Miss Right or Mr. Right, the potential life partner that you felt are more um, connected. But nevertheless, if you missed the boat last year, well, this year you still have the three harmonic combinations to attract the life, uh, your, your potential life partner who can work things out together with you. And they could be very helpful in terms of uh, giving you a landing, ha landing hand and help you to actually overcome certain uh, obstacle or the, the emotional issue that you may already stuck since past years. Well, this year is a positive year for you to actually get it sorted out because having all the problem dissolver stuff, if you already uh, experience a lot of depression, sadness, all this negative emotion, well, this year you may get the help that you are you have been seeking for okay so make sure you intensify your connection with your spouse for those who already in relationship or married well this is a positive blessing to amplify all your positive energy okay and last is the hour of goat well if you're born in the hour of goat it means that this pillar governs your inspirations your dream your the people under your care, your students, your children, and it also governs your asset or your investment. So having all these positive stuff, well, this year you can easily attract positive ideas, new creativity. And by the way, this pillar is quite important for those uh, entrepreneurs or the business owners because this governs how you are going to drive your business yeah, in how you're going to create the impact into your career your or your wealth generation ability so having all the auspicious stuff will boost your creativity and also being able to see opportunity within all these hindrance all these problems so overall for those who are born with the good zodiac 
this is the most auspicious star that is supporting you so make sure you are going to go all out to actually be willing to take on important um, responsibility or be able to to actually craft something important be it in your professional identity and for those who are business owner take this opportunity to actually scale up or transform your business to create certain important term or transformation in terms of how you deliver your products how you uh, upgrade your offerings to make a bigger impact to actually create another benchmark in your industry and so that you will be positioned in the important in group of influencers be it in an all associations organizations where your voice are very important for overall growth okay so overall those are the positive and negative um, influence for those who are born with the good zodiac so please do like this video and hit subscribe to my channel and visit my website because i already created a lot of content to help you in hacking your year 2023 so remember if you have any question just drop me a message or if you wanted to schedule a consult to help you in planning your year 2023 please don't hesitate just go to my website because all the informations i have written are very detailed uh, articles guide for different day masters different zodiac and help you to prepare yourself to hack your year of 2023 so that's all from me john of lee and i'll be signing off today and i will be seeing you in the next video bye bye